Okay, so this is gonna be a quick first impressions video on these Flybird adjustable dumbbells. And let's just jump into it. The first kind of issue, or the first thing we always look at here is uh, packaging. And there were no issues here. This item came perfect, actually. The packaging was very, very good. Uh, fully enclosed, this box was on top of that. And no problems with packaging. Everything was very well packed, protected, and not like we see with some home gym equipment where it comes in and you're not sure how damaged it is. So no problems like that here. Um, it does come with a user manual, which you're not really gonna need. Um, the operation is remarkably simple and very cool, honestly. I haven't seen an adjustable dumbbell quite like this. So let me show you. <laughs> this is interesting. So step five here, operation procedures. And then it goes through and shows you uh, the different exercises you can do here. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. That's the training suggestions. Actually, no, wait, what? Okay, yeah, I was right, actually. Five is this, operation procedures. And then six is something else. Huh, just in general, how to train. Okay, yeah, I don't know why people bother including this. Maybe for some customer sets, it does give them an indication. I guess if you knew nothing about training, you could maybe use this, but, but I doubt it. But anyway, that's the... Um, that's the manual that it comes with, so it's not gonna need that. Now let's talk about what this is made up of, basically. So pretty simple, you've got a tray, and then you've got the dumbbell itself, right? The cool thing is, I didn't realize it at first until I put this in here, but this tray is actually essential to the operation of the dumbbell. So let me show you why. Actually, let me so show you first how cool it is, how this thing works. This is the only adjustable dumbbells that I've seen where you simply turn the handle to adjust the weight. So the way this actually works, let's put it on 11 so I can just easily lift it out of here and show you guys. But if you can see under here, these latches as I press on them, it is locked when those are undone. So if you can see here, let me adjust the camera this down because I'm in a weird position here. Adjust the camera. These latches engage those. So these latches push on those and make them go up, which means it can then be adjusted, right? So let's kind of carefully place this back in here. <clears throat> and now it can be adjusted. Otherwise, it's locked. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. This is very, very easy to adjust. Now, one downside to this I've already noticed. So this is a revolutionary locking and un or adjusting mechanism. But if you notice here, watch these weights here. So I can adjust it from 11 pounds to 22 pounds to 33 pounds. And I, actually my dog who just walked by, he was just outside running and, and catching tennis balls. That's why he sounded kind of out of breath, he doesn't always sound like that. But anyway, so I can adjust this, but I can only go in around 10 pound increments, right? So you can easily see a situation where, oh, you're able to do 11 pounds, um, but maybe you're not ready for 22. So that that's a downside. Um, there's ways to work around that, of course, by you know doing more uh, reps until you can handle 22, but that is a downside. It doesn't allow as much adjustability. Maybe in future versions, they will allow that. So that should be interesting. Um, it does all feel rather solid. I'm not too worried about it breaking necessarily. It feels pretty good to me. Um, now I wouldn't wanna throw it around, right? I wouldn't just wanna drop this down like you see some people do in the gym. So keep that in mind. You're probably not gonna be able to throw these across the room, but it seems very cool to me on first impressions. We're not gonna give it a rating until we actually write the article and, and try it out for a few weeks, but first impressions are really, really good. This is very cool. Um, very, very easy to adjust. 
Still not able to drop it down on the ground. I have a feeling that the only ones you can are probably the Iron Master adjustable dumbbells, which we have not gotten a hold of yet. I've heard there's actually, for those dumbbells, I've heard there's actually a, a waiting list or a raffle list that you have to get on in order to buy them. So we may try that soon so we can review those. But yeah, first impressions of these are fantastic. They look very cool. I'm a little worried about the adjustability as far as not able to adjust in increments that I may want, but otherwise very, very cool. Stay tuned.